Hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have some $5 dinners that I have planned for my next video. So that'll be out next week. But today I want to show you how I shopped for those, what kind of deals I was looking at and where exactly I shopped. So first I'm going to head to Walmart and show you the prices there. Then I'll head to Aldi and show you what I decided to pick up at both stores and then show you a couple of the ads and how I buy things in bulk when they go on sale and what kind of deals I think are good deals so I can kind of buy a lot and save in the long run instead of just on the short term when I do the meal plans and things like that. So let's get shopping and I can show you all of the great prices. I'm making $5 meals. This is my list. I'm gonna get some things at Walmart and some things at Aldi and I'm gonna try to stay under $40. 72 cents a pound for sweet potatoes here and avocados are 74 cents each here. Limes are 25 cents. And five pounds of potatoes for two sixty-eight. Get this mozzarella. It's eight ounces and it's two dollars. We also have a pound of cheddar for three eighty-six. So I'll get some of that here as well. But and they have plain Greek yogurt for sixty-seven cents. And we'll go ahead and get two of those today. They have rotisserie chickens at Walmart for five ninety-seven. It's like they have cottage cheese for $2.58 and this is for the 24 ounce, so we're gonna get that here. Cream cheese is $1.54 here. And they've got black beans here for 88 cents for a can. And then chili beans are 88 cents per can. I have some at home though, so I'll be using some from my pantry. We'll be getting a value pack of corn tortillas for $1.56. And here they have enchilada sauce for a dollar six. I do have a can at home that I'll be using, but this is a great price for enchilada sauce. This is a 10 ounce can here at Walmart. Lots of good beans here. These ones are only a dollar 38 for one pound of black beans. That's a great price. And then the great value is a dollar 56 here for one pound. So either of those, great deal. We're just gonna go with the least expensive here. So we'll get Parmesan for $2.92 today for this eight ounce container. I have pasta sauce in the pantry, but if you need to find one, they're $1.42 here at Walmart for Hunts. They have $1.16 for broccoli florets or broccoli cuts for 97 cents. So they have ground turkey here for $3.68 and $3.92. Those are the best prices from here at Walmart. And the chicken family pack of thighs is $1.28 a pound too. That's a great deal. For grape tomatoes, I usually just look for the cheapest price at Aldi. Right now they have a 10 ounce for $2.47. That's about what I've been paying. I do have some at home, so that's what I'm using this week. But if you're shopping along with me for the $5 meals, um, definitely look at Walmart or Aldi and see if you can get something around $2 or $2.50 for 10 ounces. Sweet potatoes, I got these for $2.69. This is the price that I paid. And I'm making two meals out of one of these three pound packages, but you can find them, um, as I um, showed at Walmart, you can find them for like 70 something cents an ounce, or not an ounce, a pound. So you could do that or just buy a three pound bag like this. Potatoes are still a really good deal. This is a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. It's $2.49 right now at Aldi. So I actually got them for, I think, I can't remember if it was $2.49 or $3.55, but for um, a 10 pound bag. So that's what I'm using for my potatoes. And that's why I'm only using a little bit because this price um, is definitely not the norm, but that's what I'm doing this week. Green onions are so inexpensive, 84 cents for an entire bunch like this. I actually, um, I just buy them and then save the bottom white parts and put them in water and regrow them. So I have a bunch at home and I even have some in the garden just that I stuck in the ground. So I'm not buying any this week, but 84 cents, uh, not too bad. Another option for tomatoes would be just to buy a few of the Roma tomatoes. They're 79 cents a pound. Sometimes you can find them for like, you know, around a dollar a pound or 50 cents a pound. And so you could just get a few of those instead of grape tomatoes and save a little bit of money on that end too. Their ground turkey is $2.75 here at Aldi for one pound. So this is what I'm going to be getting today um, to make two meals with. So I'm going to be using half for one meal and half for the other. And this does come frozen, so you just have to make sure you thaw it overnight in the refrigerator to make sure it has the right texture when you cook with it the next day. I did pick up my cream cheese here at Aldi. It was around $1.49 when I picked it up. It's currently $1.39. This is the new Chatel, which is just 
less fat cream cheese. Um, they normally have the cream cheese here for $1.39. So this is where I would normally get my cream cheese. It's a really great deal. So that's what I would do if I was doing the $5 meal plan with me, is I'd come to Aldi or check at Walmart and see if you can get it for $1.50 or so. They have penne pasta here for $1.09 for a pound. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those here today. The cheapest I found at Walmart was $1.12. So this is a tiny bit better of a deal, but both are pretty close. For the elbow pasta, they have these in this brand. They're 29 cents for seven ounce package. So I'm just gonna get two of these. So that'll be about, um, what is that, 60 cents or so for just under a pound of elbow pasta. At Aldi, they have larger bags of beans. So that's why I got them at Walmart this week. But $2.69 for two pounds of black beans is also a really great deal. A little bit cheaper here if you can afford to buy in bulk. Do that here. And also for the pinto beans, they're sold in a four pound bag for $3.69. And instead of buying the canned chili beans, I actually made some from scratch and that's what I'm gonna be using this week. But a can of chili beans is only 88 cents at Walmart. So that's really not a bad deal too. So normally I buy my blocks of cheese here at Aldi for $3.79 for a pound. So that's an option too if you have an Aldi near you. This is a really great deal. So that's what I would normally buy. At Aldi, for example, this week, um, and this is in November, the end of November, they have fresh boneless skinless chicken leg meat for $1.99 a pound. That's the kind of deal that I would take advantage of and buy my chicken at that point. So for example, this week's ad at Albertsons, which is also a Vons brand, so you can go to either store, they have the $1.77 a pound for fresh boneless skinless chicken breast, and that is actually the deal that I took advantage of last time they had it, which was maybe a month or two ago. Then I just froze them in one pound portions, and that is why I'm using the price I'm using today, because this is the... Um, the sale price that I would use for chicken, but you can actually get um, a rotisserie chicken, a whole chicken for around $5 at Costco or Walmart. So you could do that and then just sort of separate it into a couple of different meals that way. So that's what I would do when buying chicken. And so that way you can get the best deal possible. Also, you see that avocados are going to be 62 cents each at Albertsons Bonds. And so that's the kind of deal I would look at for avocados. I don't like to pay $2 each or anything like that. And Aldi usually has them on sale at this price all the time. So that's what's kind of nice about Aldi is you don't always have to wait for things to go on sale because they're already on sale. And if you ever see this deal here at one of your stores, $5.97 for 32 ounces of cheese, and that includes the chunk cheese. So that is two pounds of cheese for $6, making it $3.00. Per pound so that could be a good deal too because right now we're paying almost four dollars for a pound of cheese at walmart or aldi it's like 386 or something like that so when you're paying six dollars for two pounds then you're saving a little bit of money that way too and in the same set of ads this week i see that smart and final also has fresh boneless skinless chicken breasts for $1.99 a pound. So a lot of places will frequently have chicken on sale or ground beef on sale at really low prices. So definitely take a look at the ads and just try to shop wherever things are on sale that you actually buy and then just freeze the extra stuff so that way you can use it later. So as you can see, prices are pretty similar at Walmart and Aldi, but usually I just stick to one store at a time and shop based on the ads and what kind of deals I'm seeing. And then just kind of make my meal plan based on that. So that way I can really just not run around and I just use what I have on hand along with the things that are on sale and really just make some great meals. So in this case, I spent less than $40 on everything. I'm gonna be making six meals and I'm cooking them right now. So they should be ready. The whole video with all of the recipes should be ready next week. So make sure that you subscribe and you know stay tuned for all of that. And of course, if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it'll also bring you back here next time. So I'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining me.